Good morning, this is Jimmy Chu from Postco Research Institute in Korea. I'm a principal researcher in charge of steel supply and demand. It's my pleasure to share the current update of Korea economic and steel market. We could start knowing the economic situation in Korea. The growth of the global economy is expected to remain sluggish due to continuing high inflation, the rise in interest rate, and the war in Ukraine. First chart at the bottom left, according to IMF, world GDP growth is projected to be 3.2% in 2022, below the January forecast of 4.4%. The consumer price inflation is projected to be 8.3% in 2022, substantially above the January forecast of 4.8%. The Bank of Korea raised its interest rate to prevent the entrenchment of high inflation and market expectations. White chart shows the hike of interest rate by 2.5%. The Bank of Korea will be increasing 2.75% or 3.25% by the year end. But there is more room to raise Polish interest rate according to the PAD decision. Korea potentially has the risk of stagflation under the hiking inflation rate and lowering economic growth. Korea's GDP is expected to grow by 2.6% in 2022 and 2.1% 2 in 2023 on rising interest rates and worsening external conditions. The growth trend is assumed to weaken as export growth has slowed. Private consumption is likely to recover by per point percent in 2022 due to lifting of social distancing rules. However, it will be limited to in 2023 under the risk of high inflation. Facilities investment is expected to contract by 3.8% in 2022 as manufacturing production slows, followed by weak recovery in 2023. The value of exports will increase by 11.5% in 2022 thanks to improved exports of petroleum products, automobiles, semiconductors, and IT products. The graph on the right shows the net contribution of domestic demand to GDP growth this year, and next year is forecasted to show a significant positive level as it did last year. While the net contribution of exports is expected to decrease significantly compared to last year. Let me share monthly trends of the steel using industry and apparent steel use. Automobile production was suffered from supply chain issue in 2021. By August this year, automobile production has not recovered yet. Regarding construction, the order increased by 18% from January to July in 2022. Meanwhile, shipbuilding order is showing better level in spite of spending hard time under the COVID-19. Apparent steel use expected to show minus 1.2% from January to th July in 2022. From now, let's deep dive into each sector of steel using industries. On the left table, we could see the construction orders outlook in Korea by sectors. Governments and civil engineering sector slightly increased despite private 
construction decreased. Construction orders are expected to decrease by 0.5% in 2022 based on the economic slowdown and rapidly rising building materials costs. On the right, construction investment is anticipated to fall by 2.3% in 2022 due to a persistent sluggishness in real estate market and the slowdown of civil engineering works. In 2023, construction investment will turn upward by one point per percent as the increase in prices for low materials slows down. And sales of new building lots increase, but the growth trend will be limited to due to increasing financing costs. For the automobile sector in Korea, Domestic production is expected to increase by 1.2% in 2022 as the lockdowns in China and supply chain disruptions were relieved. Exports are anticipated to grow by 2.8% in 2022 with strong exports resulting from an increase in eco-friendly car sales and the exchange rate impact despite of suspension of exports to Russia. As global semiconductor supply shortages could begin to ease in second half of this year, domestic production will continue to grow by 1.3% in 2023, but the growth rate is limited due to contracting the consumption after panda. On the right table, automobile production unit per casting in August was slightly increased compared with July. It's time to go for the shipbuilding in Korea. New orders will remain at a stable level in 2022 thanks to the world cargo volume and a jump in orders for high-priced LNG carriers. But as Korean building industries will be facing difficulties to contract workers and strike at dock, Building deliveries are expected to decrease by 2.2% in 2022. Deliveries will rise by 14.9% in 2023 as orders for eco-friendly ships will be delivered. As of now, its order book has mostly peeled off for the next two to three years. Lastly, let's see the home appliances industry. Production index for household appliances is expected to fall by 9.5% in 2022 due to weakening consumer purchasing power and contracted demand after the removal of lockdown measures. On the left chart, there are inventory assets of major home appliance manufacturers, Samsung Electronics and LG Electronics are facing historically high inventory levels as demand for electric devices weakens. According to Samsung Electronics, it finished the products inventory assets totaled 70.6 trillion won as of the end of June, a policy 0.1% from a year ago. Production index for household appliances will continue to decrease by 0.6% in 2023 due to sluggish consumption in major white appliances and the slowdown in export demands. So, Korean's ASU is expected to decrease by around 3% in 2022 with sluggish market conditions in steel-using industries, production disrupted by 
typhoon and the base effect derived from an increase in order by 13.9% last year. The recovery of major manufacturing industries will be limited in 2023 due to global recession risk and ongoing global supply chain disruptions. In 2023, demand for finished steel will be stagnant on the slowdown in steel demand for construction, shipbuilding, and automobile. Now, let me wrap up the key messages. Downside risk to the Korean economy have increased with the slowdown in exports owing to weakening of economic growth in major countries. GDP growth is projected to be 2.6% in 2022, 2.1% in 2023. The recovery of major manufacturing industries will be limited in 2023 due to recession risk and ongoing global supply chain disruptions. Construction investment will turn upward by 1.4% in 2023 with the recovery of public civil engineering. But it will be limited due to economic depression and increasing financing costs. Automobile production will increase by 1.3% in 2023 with easing semiconductor supply shortages despite of decreasing the pent up demand. In 2023, the shipbuilding deliveries will continue to rise by 40.9% as orders for eco-friendly ships will be delivered. Korea's ASU is expected to pull by around 3% in 2022 with sluggish market conditions in steel using industries, production disrupted by typhoon and the base effect. Demand for finished steel will continue to remain subdued in 2023 with the slowdown in steel demand for construction, shipbuilding, and automobile. I appreciate your attention. Thank you.